Knowing God, the 2023 Week of Prayer Editorial Knowing God Deciding whom to speak with and befriend makes a big difference in one's life. Social media has somewhat revolutionized the attitudes of many, as it is a mode of communication that is typically fast and frequent. In any case, whether by social media, phone, text, letter or in person, communication with a good, true friend can provide real encouragement in life. On the other hand, a false friend or toxic acquaintance can trigger discouragement or even depression. The amount, intensity and frequency of the interaction all make a difference. We may have more choice in this matter than we might realize. Certain things in life are beyond our control, but other things we can decide to some extent. The Apostle Paul warns, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 33 Nothing can more effectually prevent or banish serious impressions and good desires than association with vain, careless and corrupt-minded persons. The more engaging they are in other respects, the more should their influence be dreaded as companions because they throw around an irreligious life so many dangerous attractions. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 3, page 126. The Amazing Contrast. Yet, what if we communicate with and learn to know very well one who is pure, holy and perfect? What a blessing beyond comparison! By communicating closely with our Creator, our spiritual life is engaged and energized, our moral compass set aright, our heart purified. The Lord has called us out of the world to be a peculiar holy people unto Himself. Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 Are you indeed drawing nigh to God? If so, be assured that he is drawing nigh unto you. Letters and Manuscripts, Volume 6, Letter 31, 1889 If we keep the Lord ever before us, allowing our hearts to go out in thanksgiving and praise to him, we shall have a continual freshness in our religious life. Our prayers will take the form of a conversation with God as we would talk with a friend. He will speak his mysteries to us personally. Often there will come to us a sweet, joyful sense of the presence of Jesus. Often our hearts will burn within us as he draws nigh to commune with us as he did with Enoch. When this is in truth the experience of the Christian, there is seen in his life a simplicity, a humility, meekness and lowliness of heart that show to all with whom he associates that he has been with Jesus and learned of him. Christ's Object Lessons, pages 129 and 130. This is what the world is hungering and thirsting to see. If we lack this close relationship with Christ, this personal connection with Him, our missionary efforts in His name will be fruitless. The outpouring of the Spirit in the days of the Apostles was the former reign, and glorious was the result. But the latter reign will be more abundant. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 8, page 21. May the experience of those in the time of the early reign be repeated today, and indeed much more abundantly. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. And they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus, Acts 4 verse 13, emphasis added. When God's people humble the soul before Him, individually seeking His Holy Spirit with all the heart, there will be heard from human lips such a testimony as is represented in this scripture. After these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with His glory. There will be faces aglow with the love of God. There will be lips touched with the holy fire, saying, The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanseth us from all sin. 
The Ellen G. White, 1888 Materials, page 1008. Amen. Please remember the following dates. Prayer with fasting, Sabbath, December 9th. Offering for missions, Sunday, December 10th. God bless.